this is a project that was funded by the Texas Department of Agriculture uh, to work by the, their specialty crop uh, block grant program uh, to provide tomatoes and other high quality vegetables uh, for the public uh, that are locally grown. And we are, are really excited about how this project has gone. Uh, it started off with uh, typical startup problems. Uh, we had rabbits eating our crops. We had uh, different uh, other different issues, but we finally got things going. Uh, and the tomatoes that we have now, we've been harvesting them for about a month. Uh, we harvest every week. We take them in, uh, divide the fruit into marketable, and that that is not marketable, get a total weight on it. And uh, just recently then, we sent some tomatoes off to the Vegetable and Fruit Improvement Lab in College Station for uh, quality analysis where they look at all kinds of biochemical products and volatiles and appearance and that sort of thing. Uh, and we're uh, getting that information back right now and it'll be analyzed and uh, we'll be able to compare uh, what we had in our test this year. Uh, and then what we have here behind us uh, is, is kind of the final stage of this, and really this is the part that matters, uh, is the taste test. And what we're doing, we're getting uh, uh, people to come in, and it's a blind test, and so we have uh, five different tomato entries that we uh, have worked with this year, and uh, we'll be uh, letting people compare those with just the way they look, uh, which ones they would want to buy if they were all available at a grocery store, and they'll make a determination on that. And then the second table is a comparison of uh, five different uh, tomato lines or entries that we have it, that we've had in our tests this year, uh, and that's a taste test, and that's really the one that matters because it uh, it really gets down to the consumer, uh, what they like and what they don't like, and, and so uh, they'll come in and they'll rank those. And then the third table is uh, another comparison between two entries that we had, one that was grown uh, inside of high tunnels and one that was grown outside in the open field, uh, and we'll see if uh, people are able to detect the difference. Uh, so far, uh, what we found is that the uh, tomatoes that were growing inside the protected uh, areas of the high tunnels are producing over time and a half, uh, almost two times in some places, uh, the yield of the tomatoes that were grown outside and the quality uh, inside the tunnels is just as good if not better in some cases uh, than what was grown outside and so that means you can get more product by growing them in the high tunnels uh, and, and get just as high a quality product as trying to grow a tomato outside and, and so we are ple really pleased with that uh, you know often you hear that greenhouse grown tomatoes are not very good uh, Tomatoes certainly that are shipped from uh, you know hundreds if not thousands of miles away uh, and end up in the grocery store are often not very tasty because they were uh, shipped so far and they had to be picked green uh, to be able to let them hold up during shipping. And so we think that being able to demonstrate the, the quality and the quantity that we can produce locally uh, and then be able to provide those to local retailers uh, it is going to be something that uh, we hope really will catch on.